we will now use action to create a multi-layer composite. In this lesson, we'll combine a backplate image and three green screen elements onto a sky background. The result will look like this. To access action, choose Thumbnail in the Source Area layout. You will not see the Action button if you are in the Player view. If editing is enabled, click on it to deactivate it. In the Edit Desk library, enable the View tab on the Compositing Trumpet source folder. Click on the Action button. Choose the None option. Hold down the Alt key to clear the module when accessing it. Click anywhere on the Edit Desk to enter Action. This is the Action module. Change the duration of the composite. Click on the Duration field and enter 48 frames. Auto key is the yellow button on the right side. Deactivate Auto key to prevent animation. Click on the Setup menu to access the preferences. Set the hardware and tile easing level. Choose the maximum level available for your system. Keep the default image behavior setting, Auto Image. With this option, each time you add new media, an image object is also automatically added to the scene. Next, we load a sky image in our background layer. Select the Media tab. This is where you load the media that you will use in your composite. Make sure the loading option is set from desk and not from lib. Select the background layer, which is labeled B. The background layer does not participate in the 3D composite of the scene. It just faces the camera at the very back of the scene, but we still need it for keying and tracking purposes. Double-click it to choose a clip from the edit desk. Notice that the cursor is green, which indicates that you're selecting a background clip. There is a hotspot to select a clip. You have to click on the upper left corner of the thumbnail in order to select it. Click on the sky image to select it. When this is done, you are back in action. Now we're going to load a first media layer. Click on New Media. A media layer consists of a front clip and a matte clip. The cursor is red, which indicates that you have to choose a front clip. Select the clip Trumpet Backplate. Now the cursor turns blue, which indicates that you have to pick a matte. Now select the clip Trumpet Backplate Matte. When you're back in action, you'll notice that an image has been added to the scene automatically. This is because of the Auto Image option. As well, a Media Layer 1 has been added, with its front and its mat. After you loaded the media, you can still replace it by double-clicking the front or the mat layer.